Bonjour. In this video, I'm going to talk about the word que. Que is a word that is regularly used in French and that is very important. However, it is tricky because it can have different natures and therefore meanings. Before starting, please note that que becomes qu apostrophe before a vowel or a silent h. For instance, je sais qu'elle est avocate. I know that she is a lawyer. First of all, que can be a subordinate conjunction. It introduces a subordinated or dependent clause. It is translated by that and it is compulsory in French, unlike in English. For instance, il m'a dit qu'il était fatigué. He told me that he was tired. He told me he was tired. Many subordinate conjunctions are formed with que. For example, parce que, because, pour que, so that, jusqu'à ce que, until, bien que, although. Secondly, que can be a relative pronoun. It is the direct object of the relative clause and can be translated by that, which, whom. Once again, it is compulsory in French. For instance, l'article que je lis est intéressant. The article that I am reading is interesting. The article I am reading is interesting. Then, que can be an interrogative pronoun, and once again, it is a direct object in the question and can be translated by what. For example, que fais-tu? What are you doing? Moreover, que can introduce a complement of the comparative. For instance, Pierre est plus grand que Paul. Pierre is taller than Paul. Marie est aussi grande qu'Aziza. Marie is as tall as Aziza. Furthermore, que can be an exclamative adverb. It reinforces an idea. It can be replaced by comme and means how. For example, a sentence taken from La Fontaine's fable, Le Corbeau et le Renard, the, the Crow and the Fox, Que vous êtes joli. How beautiful you are. Finally, the structure ne que where the verbs is put between ne and que, means only. For instance, elle ne mange que des légumes. She only eats vegetables. In conclusion, be careful when you encounter que. It has many meanings. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.